Okay, that's 7450. 7450. Alright. There's 80. That promised you 50 bucks over the meter, right? I'll make that 100. If you wait for me. So let the meter run. I'll give you the other half plus the meter when I get back. Okay? How long are you gonna be? I don't know, maybe an hour or more, but maybe only 10 minutes. I'll leave my stuff here in the back. Okay? Okay. Where? London. 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 Heavy! <laughs> Shut up and sit down, you big bald fuck. We've got to go and see a man that looks like he might know something. I need a gun. You don't rosebud me, old son. You need me. He's a right handful, this fella. So watch out. I hate Russians. I'll take care of them. Well, yours, rosebud, old son. Not a problem. You're gonna have to get me to a doctor. Shoot that fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then get me to a doctor. Okay, yeah, yeah. But first we get the stone, Rosie. First the stone, and then I'll get you those back. Get his keys and find out exactly where the stone is. I think that you got something to tell us. Easy. Take it easy, Ross. Oi! Do you want him to be able to talk or not? Hey, come on, let's get out of here. What do you want to do about the Russian? I want you to bury him. All right. How do you want to get rid of him? Well, do you want to shoot him? It's a little noisy, isn't it? Do you want to kill him or not? I'll cut him. I got a blade. Yeah, that's the spirit. Well, it's a little cold-blooded, isn't it? What are you gonna do with that? Pick his teeth. Wipe the butter off it and put it away. But there's a proper blade back there. A sharp side, a blunt side. Would you want a lesson? What about Rosebud? Well, you can bring him with you if you like. want none of his liquor, and I mean it. You ought to stay off his liquor. He says you've been lapping it up all summer like a wild cat. No, don't turn the light on! <laughs> I don't mind you being no. older than what I thought, but all the rest of it, that pitch about your ideals being so old-fashioned, and all that malarkey <laughs> you've been dishing out all summer. Oh, yeah, I knew you weren't 16 anymore. But I was fool enough to believe you were straight. Yeah. Mr. Cabinet to speak to you. Who? Oh, uh, you talking about Miz right now? You put me on the stand. Take your shot. You come after me, and I promise you, you're gonna be the sorriest, limey son of a bitch that ever drew breath. It's okay, Sonia, I've been here before. Uh, I swear that the evidence I give should be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Paul Cantrell, Deputy Attorney General, for the record. Court, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us here today, Mr. Cantrell. Pleasure's all mine, Your Honor. Proceed. In the matter of mitigation at sentence, do you feel you adequately represented his best interests? I do. What mitigation did you offer on his behalf? Uh, none. No. 
Well, I saw no reason to go wasting the court's time with a whole heap of mind-bending psycho babble. You pay a shrink enough money, he gonna swear black's white. Why didn't you do your job? You wanna know why I didn't offer mitigation? I didn't offer mitigation because William Dupree told me he shot the Andersons. What's he supposed to sleep on the street now? Huh? With a mustard gas. You high me outfits. Excuse me, please. You want to know something? You make me sick. Okay, I'm going to tell you something. Not Hitler has the right ideas. You listening? The man will be dead by February. When you arrive at your hotel room, I want you to telephone him and arrange dinner for tomorrow evening. I will approach during dinner. You'll then invite me to join you both, and we'll talk. At some point, you should say that you have a canvas that might interest us, a canvas that you'd like us both to see, and then you'll bring us here. Countess Krasinska, Stephen Magnuson. We met in Rome oh, last yes, year. Oh, yes, yes, of course. How nice to see you again. Well, will you excuse us? Countess. Check the toilets. Check the toilets. Because you didn't even have this. Uh, excuse me. Do you mind? This is the ladies' room. May I help you? She stitched it. She stitched the wire. We lost some. This, this mission, man, is no different. We're just doing what the military and the funding boys always do, man, only from like a greater height. Ladder on 18. Two men with me, the rest of the main ventilation. Okay, sir. This way. Okay, lady, stay calm. This is the police. There's nowhere else to go. Well, you're gonna slowly turn around and put your hands on the floor. Do you understand me? She doesn't. What's wrong with Glenn Miller? <laughs> Nothing is wrong with Glenn Miller, except I spent half my life trying to escape from him back at the base. One day, I'm going to open up a record store and import recordings from Europe. <laughs> One day? One day sooner rather than later. What are you trying to tell me? I'm going home in a few weeks. I heard this morning I'm being demobbed. In a few weeks? Want to hear the rest of the news? Of course. I phoned the booking agents, and there's a ship sailing from Liverpool on the 30th. For New York? I'm hoping that my wife-to-be will be on it. How does that sound to you? You want me to sail on the 30th? Leave the rationing and the whole damn mess behind, Brenda. Just pack your bags and set sail. I don't want to live my life a second longer without you than I have to. This isn't how you build an organization. Talk to fucking Murray. Talk to Mitch. When we were at Peterson, who paid for his fucking car? He said, Shelly, Shelly, baby, you bought that for me? What did I buy that out of? Cold calling? Nothing! 79, John, you call him downtown. Roma Moss, huh? You call him down Glen Ross Farms. That was luck? You think that was luck for those years? Your fucking luck is burning my fucking ass. I can't get a fucking lead. Those... Those stats for those fucking years, all those fucking years, huh? That was luck. It was skill.